Hey folks, welcome back to yet another issue of Jump Cloud's Whiteboard video tutorial series. My name is Greg Keller. I'm the company's Chief Product Officer and the former Head of Product. And today we'll be talking to you about some exciting new releases of our Active Directory integration. But first, what is Active Directory integration with Jump Cloud? People often associate Jump Cloud as a core authoritative source of identity, a core directory, which it is. But in certain circumstances, we have customers that actually have Active Directory domain controller forests, and yet they need powerful ways in order to extend those identities out to resources that have historically been challenging for Microsoft to connect to, be it non-Microsoft resources, perhaps cloud resources, or frankly, things like MacBooks. Today, we're gonna to walk you through some of the original concepts of the integration, Active Directory integration, and then show you what we have just recently released. Got our, our whiteboard pen, let's get busy. So in order to articulate the architecture, let's sort of break it out like this. We're gonna demarcate um, this line as the open internet. So we'll just demarcate this as internet. On this side is your on-prem infrastructure. So, for example, you will have a Windows server. This could be Windows 2008, all the way up through Windows uh, Server 2016, 2019 coming soon. And obviously this is set up as your AD domain controller. This is the source of identity that you have plumbed all of your Microsoft resources to. Out here, in the middle, and this is the open internet, so or we'll call this the public cloud, is first Jump Cloud. This is the cloud-based resource and our directory service that you will be attaching resources to. And everything on this side is, for example, your own resources. Today we're gonna focus on the concept of a MacBook, but this could be anything, like for example, a cloud-based application. So we'll just refer to this as a cloud app. Perhaps it's Salesforce or any other of the thousands of applications that may exist uh, uh, you know, as a pay-for service. We'll call this guy Mac. Perhaps you have Linux servers up on AWS, you need Radius services for your own organization. This is all the stuff that, that Jump Cloud um, sort of utilizes. But let's break down what the AD integration was, and currently still is, but then show you how we supplemented it. And it kind of goes down like this. For organizations that don't have Active Directory, so not from everything from the left here, you have nothing on premise, you just have your core Jump Cloud directory and all of its attached resources. Obviously, life is good. It's your, it's your directory. Now, introducing Active Directory, what we have is as follows. The original integration had an installation of an agent. And we'll refer to this as the AD import agent. The function of this agent is very simple where we would replicate Active Directory identities and you would use Jump Cloud's core service authentication endpoints in order to bind resources. Again, like you know, Linux servers, cloud apps, etc. Basically obviating the need to have to install other Windows roles or services. You're sort of reducing server footprint, keeping the core server you need, which is the Active Directory role on, on a Windows server, and Jump Cloud would handle a, a large majority of the rest of the chores, especially for remote, remote or off-premise operations. So you would build users inside of Active Directory like you normally do, and of course groups, adding users to groups, and Jump Cloud's import agent would replicate everything instantly to the cloud-based version of Jump Cloud, and then of course on to the various resources that you need. Again, Linux, cloud apps, Radius servers. We're gonna come back to the MacBook here in a second. So this basically is, think of us as a federation like replicator of identities and you're using our authentication services. Now things get interesting. What we've recently released is a brand new add-on agent. This is optional um, and it is called the AD Sync agent. 
So what is its purpose? It is designed to complete a round trip exercise between Jump Cloud and Active Directory. So here's a use case. With the AD Sync ver, uh, agent in place, and of course the import agent in place, a administrator, you likely watching this video, will add your users and groups, you'll ship them over to Jump Cloud, and instantaneously you can bind them out to, let's say, a fleet of MacBooks that, as you know, are typically very hard to bind using Active Directory's native binding facilities, very brittle. Um, this is what you would use Jump Cloud for to sort of replace that technology. On this host is another type of agent. It's called our system agent, and it's responsible for binding uh, a MacBook to Jump Cloud, and then by extension, you're binding it to Active Directory. The agent is good for all kinds of things, especially user account management and password management, GPO-like policies. So if you're familiar with the concept of policies managing Windows machines, we now can replicate that out to Mac, Windows as well, and Linux. To, uh, uh, we do all of the full disk encryption, command execution, and multi-factor authentication, all for these endpoints. So, so again, you're adding value into this whole ecosystem. Um, but what's the big story of the round trip? Well, we like the fluidity now that our AD Sync agent provides, especially for password changes. So example, user uh, who's out on a Mac needs to change their password. In the old days, they would have very often, especially with non-Microsoft resources, have to ask their administrator to make a password change, no longer. With our menu bar application, which is uh, basically installed at the time that the agent is installed and is uh, a user-facing utility. Users will change their passwords to anything that they want that is matching your password complexity requirements and this whole password propagation change is relayed back from the machine through Jump Cloud securely all the way through to your domain controller infrastructure. It is complete round trip. So we negotiate and basically broker the secure translation of passwords coming from Active Directory resources to things like a MacBook or providing employee convenience by letting them change the password on the host itself and relaying back. Again, all for sort of simplicity and security's sake. Interestingly, this whole transaction, especially from the MacBook, doesn't require a VPN to do so. We already negotiate a very tight, deep, secure PKI connection between all of these endpoints. So it is absolutely cert-based and hyper-secure. So what did we learn today? We've advanced our capabilities in our Active Directory integration product. You understand the original version of the product provided one directional propagation of objects, including passwords, to Gem Cloud and then on to our resources. And our latest version, AD Sync, enables the complete reversal of that information back to AD. So again, we love having you here on our whiteboard vi uh, video tutorial sessions. We look forward to having you to uh, come back and see more. And if you have any questions, please contact us at sales at gemcloud.com. Thanks.